Hey, 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 you know what day it is. What day is it? It's Tuesday tea with D. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Tuesday tea with D. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Tuesday tea with D. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Tuesday tea with D. It's Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D. Hey, boo. Hey, how you doing? It's your girl, Deetra Trueheart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker. I speak life mentor, all the things, your personal life coach here with another dose of Tuesday Tea with D. And this week's Tuesday Tea with D um, is another, I would say, disruptive message. And the reason I say it is a disruptive message is because I had a message planned for today again. And um, yesterday we closed out uh, Pause 2.0, which was the second um, workshop of the Pause Masterclass. Pause Masterclass, and so I did it again. And one of the themes that came up towards the end of the masterclass was this conversation around doing the work. And so we'll talk a little bit about that because you know I'm all for doing the work. I teach on doing the work. Um, I probably have one on here, maybe from about two years ago around doing the work consistently, but I want to talk a little bit more about doing the work from a different perspective today. And so before I do that, as you can see, I have my trusty thermos. As you can see, she has been through it. And um, I have my trusted and uh, consistent peppermint and um, ginger, my green tea with ginger, my combo in here as well. I had to preach on Sunday and I had to teach on Monday and then having to do Tuesday tea with D as well. And so I normally like to drink this tea when I'm doing a lot of speaking because it helps preserve my voice and my throat. And so with that being said, Today's Tuesday Tea with D is um, is brought to you by my 90 minute strategy session. And so if you are in a space where you need strategy, you want to pick my brain, you want um, insight on a specific thing where we can spend 90 minutes together, um, <clears throat> we can kind of work through, you know, one or two different things that you want to work through. I can give you, again, strategy, action plan all the things. Um, you'll get a replay of the, our 90 minutes together, as well as an action plan for either 30, 60, or 90 days. And then the other thing that you get with that is um, two weeks after that, we do a 30-minute follow-up call just to kind of see where you are, discuss next, step, next steps, as well as your progress. And so most of the clients who go through that normally like continue on at an extended rate um, or an extended, what do I say, extended time period. Um, but for those who don't, it's really good because they can take that and then they could like, you know, take off running with it. And so most of my clients, you know, who end up doing the 90 minute strategy session love that because it gives clarity. Um, there might be some blockage in some areas. There may be, you um, you know, some areas where, you know, they need confirmation on a thing. Um, and sometimes they just need, you know, you need somebody to kind of like tell you one or two things to kind of shift and reframe and reset your mindset or how you're looking at a thing to see it from a different perspective. And then like literally they take off. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, you can go to trueheartspeaks.as.me forward slash get started. It is a $500 investment. All you got to do is click the link book, uh, pay, pay for it, book your appointment, and then listen, it could be me and you and you and me. Okay. All right. So with that being said, um, and I'll mention that again, just in case you're like, mm, I don't know, or maybe you want, you know, you're like, I think I really want to do it. I'll talk about it again, but let's just talk about doing the work. And so today's conversation probably won't be as long as some of my others, and maybe it will, I don't know, but I really want to talk about the importance of doing the work. And so, for example, working with a coach, a lot of people, I think when they say, okay, well, I want to work with a coach, they think the coach is going to do the work for them. 
and a coach can't do the work for you. Like I can tell you what to do. I can even show you how to do it. But at some point you have to do it on your own. Like that's the message. Okay, I'm done. I'll see you next week. (laughs) I'm just kidding. But it's literally just that simple. And this came because one of the testimonials um, or the takeaways from the pause 2.0 masterclass was literally like, you know, um, I love that everything, you know, and it was really a question around like, what would you tell somebody else if they wanted to do it? And they were like, you know, she's going to give you everything you need. You just got to do the work. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm and, and in my mind, I'm thinking, I guess I don't think that you should have to tell people that. But I think sometimes you do have to tell people because people show up. And I think they come with this mindset that it's just like what I teach is going to be like osmosis and that they don't technically have to do anything. All they got to do is just, I don't know. And so I'm here with a reminder that getting out of your own way means you got to do the work. Um, For you to stop settling means that you got to do the work. Showing up for yourself in the same way that you show up for other people, because showing up for other people is work too, just in case you you didn't realize it. Showing up for other people is still work, but showing up for you is work too, right? You got to show up for you. You got to do the work, right? And so if, you know, if there is a conversation around spending more time with God, you got to do the work. You got to read your Bible. You got to pray. You got to sit quietly to give your time, your, yourself time and space to be able to hear and to learn the voice of God. If exercising and maybe not necessarily losing weight, but being healthier is something that you desire to do, then you got to do the work. And so doing the work means you know, walking, you know, doing Zumba, going to the gym, I don't know, kickboxing, like you got to do something, right? If you get a personal trainer, you still got to do the work. And so, you know, you even, even just, you know, maintaining what you eat and watching what you drink and all of those sorts of things, it includes doing the work, right? Um, if you're, you know, looking to, you know, build your business or if you're looking to get more customers or clients for your business, it requires doing the work, right? If you want to make more money, it still requires doing the work, right? You can't just say, oh, I want to make more money and think that the money is going to come to you because it's not. There is work that is required, right? If you want better relationships, whether it's with friends or a spouse or your children, right? It takes work, whether it's communication, whether it's listening, whether it's quality time, it's work. W-O-R-K. Yes, I said aura. (laughs) It requires work. And so let us not make the assumption that work is not required. Now, I know that there is, you know, um, you know, there are sayings that basically say like there are some things that don't require you to like work as hard as you would think you you, you need to. Right. And so, you know, working yourself into the grave or different things like that, like, no, maybe it's not like, oh, well, I have to work hard to succeed. You may not have to work hard to succeed, but you got to work. There is work involved. Right. There is something that you have to do that is involved. Right. Doing it consistently. Right. Doing the right thing at the right time with the right people in the right place. Like all of the right things like bring around, bring about the right result. But I, I, I feel like that statement and that conversation that we had caused me to come. And I really just want you to know, like, it's work. You got to do the work. In order for you to grow, you got to do the work. In order for you to heal, you got to do the work. And work sometimes means sitting yourself down, getting quiet, um, dealing with the stuff that you've been avoiding, dealing with the stuff that you've been running from, dealing with the stuff that actually is going to cause you to up level, but you got to deal with it at the lower level before it gets to the up level so that it's not an issue. Are you with me? I hope so. I, I just... I don't know. I just I want you to know that there's work required. Right. There is an investment required. And so and some most times it requires money and time 
and energy. You have to make an investment. You got to pay, right? But then you have to put your time in, but then you also have to put the energy into it, right? Time, talent, treasure. And so let's not be naive and let's not be ignorant to what is required for us to get out of our own way, for us to stop settling and for us to show up for ourselves, and I think it's really interesting because I think a lot of times we don't think about the work that is required when we're showing up for other people. We don't think about the work that's required when we're overstepping boundaries and when we are, you know, um, you know, saying yes when we should be saying no and doing things for other people. Um, but then it's like, well, where do I find the time or where do I where do I find the money or where do I find the energy for myself, honey? In the same place that you found that money, that time, and that energy for other people. Okay. I'm just saying, like, we gotta, we gotta recognize that work is it's it's a part of it, right? And so, yes, there are moments where when you are doing the work and you are sowing the seeds and you are cultivating the land and you are watering the land and all those things that all of a sudden you do reap a harvest and all of a sudden you do, you know, like there's, there's, it's kind of like when it says, I'll give you houses that you didn't build and land that you didn't plant. Right. And so sometimes that stuff comes after, right. After you put the work in, after you could be trusted Right. With this, like with the saying, um, being faithful over a few so that you can be ruler over many. Like a lot of times we want to get to a point where we're like, oh, I thought it was just going to show up. Well, you couldn't have because you didn't put no work in. You didn't put no skin in the game. You you don't even know what it costs and you don't even know what it takes in order to not just to do the work, but to maintain it, to cultivate it, to nurture it. I'm getting a little excited here. So. Do the work. And if you don't really know what's required in doing the work, then ask questions. Sign up for master classes that help you <laughs> understand what, you know, what it's going to look like to do the work, right? And so when we're talking about pausing and quiet time and rest, there is work required, right? There is there's something that you got to do in order to get to the place that you want to get to as it relates to pausing, resting, resetting, refreshing, refueling. There's work required. There's something that requires you to do something. You got to do something. Right. And I and, and I'm big on not focusing so much on doing, but being right. And part of being is doing something, too. Right. Sometimes your doing really is doing nothing. And sometimes that's hard when you are not used to doing anything, when you're not used to sitting yourself down, when you're not used to getting quiet, when you're not used to quieting your mind, when you're, it still requires you to do something, to do the work. So I think I'm done. I think I've, I've, you know, hammered this point in, but when you are taking courses, when you are signing up for coaching, Make sure that you understand that there's some skin in the game that is required, that there is some work that you have to do. There's a level of accountability, specifically at private coaching, where you don't just show up and expect your coach to do the work for you. Your coach will support you. Your coach will, um, you know, give you the tools, right? Um, the resources, you know, walk you through and even show you how to do it. Um, and depending upon what it is, right, they may be able to initially do something for you, but they can't continue to do it for you at some point. It's for the sake of showing you how to do it so that you can do it on your own at a later at a later time. So make a commitment to yourself today that you're going to do the work that's required to get the results that you desire. I think I just dropped the bar. Uh uh. Right. Make sure you're willing to do the work that's required. Right. I just forgot what I said so that you can get the result, the results that you desire. That's it. <laughs> Crack myself up. But like you want a specific result, a desired result, then you actually have to do the work that's required. And so if you want to learn like about how to do nothing and you want to learn about you know, making sure that you, you know, 
maximize and being you're intentional with quiet time, then there's something you have to do. And sometimes, yes, it includes doing nothing. But for some people, that's work. But be intentional and be committed to it and be disciplined so that you can see the result on the other side of it. Right. And stick it out. Don't just assume that it's going to happen, you know, like the first day. And you may see results the first day, but the consistency and the constancy of it now becoming a rhythm and a routine of, of who you are, that's where that goes. So you can't expect to become a master prayer, prayer, right? If you only pray one day and you're like, well, it didn't work. Well, of course it didn't work. You only did it once. You have to do the work consistently. You have to pray every day, sometimes multiple times a day, so that you can really build rhythm routine and it can become a regular part of who you are and what you do. You want to read the Bible, you want to get grow in your faith, and you want to learn more about God and you want to connect with God, but you're only doing it, you're not doing it, right? Either you're not doing it or you're doing it a little bit. So, you know, and again, that's with anything, right? Whatever it may be you know, um, developing a skill, you know, increasing or bettering your relationships, enhancing your relationships, you know, your faith, your health, right? Your mindset, um, whatever it is, just make sure you're doing the work and don't just make sure you're doing the work. Like the biggest thing that I want you to know is that there is work required. Don't go in thinking that people are supposed to do it for you. Um, unless you're paying them a big penny to do it for you with the understanding that either you've got to learn it or you're paying also paying them to maintain it. And that's different because I'm thinking about, you know, like, you know, do for you, you know, um, services, whether, you know, you're paying somebody to manage a website or you're paying somebody to, you know, create your social media stuff like that kind of thing. But the things that are more personal People can't do that for you. They can show you, they can walk alongside you and do it so that you can see and then do it for yourself. But you got to do the work and you got to be intentional with knowing that when you sign up specifically, honey, with trainings with me, you're going to do some work. Oh, you're going to do some work because you're not going to walk away not knowing what to do and then be thinking like, oh, I thought she was going to do it for me. No, 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 Mm -mm. not over here. So, all right, I'm done. Um, but on, on, on another note, if you need support, right, if you're looking for support, if you're looking to maybe increase your confidence, if you're looking to reprioritize you, if you're looking to increase your faith, if you're looking to, you know, um, you know, step up and step into, you know, uh, shifting your mindset, whatever it might be, maybe you need to look at your schedule and you need to, you know, really figure out what showing up for you looks like, you know, I would encourage you to start out specifically if you're not ready for long-term coaching, three, six, or 12-month coaching, um, start up with a 90-minute strategy session where we can really kind of get an understanding of where you are and and how we can hone in on one or two things that you're challenged with and get you, you know, moving um, and get you um, taking action. And then we can, you know, come back two weeks later and say, okay, well, how was that? How can I support you further? Um, you know, here, here are my suggestions on what, you know, what I think needs to happen, but also just to see how you're progressing, right? And so, you know, you can get the information here. Go to trueheartspeaks.as.me forward slash get started. Trueheartspeaks.as.me forward slash get started um, to book your session and, you know, so that you can get unstuck and get started and you can do All right. So today was great. And um, I know like I hammered that in a lot and I might be back in another two years or year with the same message, because sometimes I think we do need the reminder um, that there is work to be done. Even there's something that you always have to do, even if it includes doing nothing. Right. For some people, that's work who are used to doing all the time. And if that's you, I would encourage you to. to get the replay of my masterclass 2.0, pause 2.0, so that you can work through that. 
Okay. So with that being said, I'm glad that you are here. I'm glad that you join me every single Tuesday for Tuesday Tea with D. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you share this with someone. Um, copy and paste the link and text someone and say, hey, you need to check this out. As a matter of fact, send them the whole Tuesday Tea with D playlist for my YouTube channel. Make sure you're commenting. Let me know what your takeaways are each week from the Tuesday Teas with D. And also make sure that, um, so subscribe, like, share and comment. I think those are all the ones that I talked about and um, yes. And I think that's it. So subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, comment on the video and then share the video. Okay. I would love and appreciate if you could do that for me um, so that more people can get these messages. So, so more people can get out of their own way, stop settling and show up for themselves in the same way that they show up for others, right? It's time for you to show up for you. It's time for you to up level. It's time for you to make time and space for you. And I'm here every single Tuesday giving you a little nugget, some tips to strategy, something to think about um, on this journey of getting out of your own way. So thank you. And I will see you next time on Tuesday Tea with D. Tuesday tea with D and, and Tuesday tea with D. Uh huh, uh huh. Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D.